Welcome to TradeSpoon. My name is Dr. Pal. I'm CEO and founder of TradeSpoon. And today I'd like to go over current market conditions and trade of the week. Disclosures are very important. Please read them. You can always pause the screen if you need more time to read the disclosures. If you're new to trading stock and options, I encourage you to visit optionscreen.com to understand the risk associated with trading stock and options. All right, let's take a look at the market. Again, I'm using my our AI model for predicting trends and supporting resistance for different time interval. I'm analyzing 10 days using this AI model uh, that trains and learns on data and makes forward prediction. 453 is the overhead resistance, 446 is the support. Um, almost to the penny, right? 445.29 is the lows for today uh, and neutral trend. I agree with the model. For now, this is the buy signal, 445, 446, and sell signal is at 453. If you zoom out, similar picture, looking at the six months, model C's 440 is the support for August. We're already retesting these levels. I still think it was a positive trend. So uh, QQQ dropped below 50-day moving average. Oh, what, what happened? Let's look at Sorry about that. Let's QQQ. Forgot to put the the chart up. Okay, can't really do much without the chart. So QQQ briefly did pull back, and uh, retested 50-day moving average. So it's underperforming. Spider spiders has not broken through the June 15 high, uh, but QQQ has. And Apple continues to underperform along with Microsoft and Tesla. So we've retested 50 day moving average, but we did pierce through this uh, upward trend since the March and broke through the support since June 16th. So the longer we stay probably below 50 day moving average, uh, the higher the probability that the market pullback is going to continue. All eyes on interest rates, we do have CPI data uh, Thursday. Uh, for now, rates have pulled back significantly, and people are buying back treasuries and selling technology as of right now, and with the fear of recession, right? Inflation has kind of put it uh, to the back burner. But again, uh, we have CPI data, so you know if it comes in worse than expected, you will see rates rise uh, and potentially technology sell off. But if it's better than expected, well, also rates can go down, and I think technology can also drop. Uh, so we will have to see. Yes. For now, I'm bearish on the market. All eyes on CPI on Thursday. Um, in terms of trade, I'm hedging. I think it's just a matter of time to break through the 50-day moving average on QQQ, whether it happens this week or in the next couple of weeks. But I am um, using QQQ stock shorting the stock. I know a lot of people like PSQ uh, or SQQQ, leverage ETF. I would use either buying PSQ or selling short QQQ. And I actually trim position today and planning to trim to 360 and 350 of the next exit levels for QQQ. Uh, please join me uh, tomorrow. We have live trading room broadcast in the morning, morning session, 8.15 Chicago time and 1.15 Chicago time where we discuss earnings, we discuss next catalysts in the market and other news like healthcare, electrical vehicles, and uh, uh, other interesting sectors. Thank you very much and have a great day.